Hey, I want to show you something. I don't know if I took pictures of this the last time I was here at my friend Michael's house. I gave him this at some point. Look at it. See, I signed my name like that for a long time. And evidently, it was called Ragtop Cadillac. And it was probably the version that was made in New York, you know, a while ago. And, uh, you know, I have my thoughts on that. <laughs> And this is mine, and Michael still has it, and he still listens to it. Isn't that awesome? I used to come here to, to his home to pretend. And it still has a price tag on, even though I did not sell it. I gave it to him. <laughs> Why do you have a price tag on that? <laughs> you sell for five bucks, you know? Do I got to give my portion to the government? <laughs> Somebody would come by with cuffs <laughs> and say, I need to get in the back. <laughs> Only they won't be putting money in my pocket. <laughs> First. <laughs> you, I don't know if anybody gets that joke, Michael. Michael, say hello to me, to you, to whoever's listening that. Well, well, if there was something that you could say to somebody that you perceive as very important to the world, what would you say to them? Help. Help. <laughs> yeah. Well, but uh, well, help you how? Help get me out of this thing. Yeah. You, you got a big move coming on, don't you? Yeah. And, and what, you're nervous about the place you're moving, or you don't want to leave here? <clears throat> Both. Both. You've been here since when? You were 59. Mm-hmm. And now how old are you? 70. 70 years old. And he moved here and he lived here since he was 59. I like it. What can I say? It's a beautiful view, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. The, the, I like it for this. Yeah, check this I out. I wouldn't like any other apartment. Look at that. And evidently, they are currently remodeling the Biltmore Hotel. Is that what's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that means that the residents have to be placed into another home. And I don't know how much... Uh, do, they, do they actually ask you questions like where you would like to live? Or do they no, just put they you just, where they, they want They to? show you the uh, uh, apartments that are available. They do. Oh, they do. They, they well, they give you the options. Yeah. They give you options. That's awesome. Thank you yeah, for giving but, us options. Yeah, but <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta see what some of the ones that I looked at. Two of them were just out of the question. Was it? The first two. And, and why said, was that? Well, the toilet, the front of the toilet, is right up against the bathtub. Oh my gosh. You, you mean uh, you have to climb over the toilet? To get into the bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe with different standards for these apartment buildings. So this is the best one that I could find, and it's been mine. Yeah, and I really like this place. It's very nice. It's up high, though, isn't it? Yes. What, which floor is this specifically? Well, uh, th this is the, uh, let's see, yeah, this is the 11th. Is it? The 11th floor, and how many is above our head? Is there a 13th floor in this? No, there's a, there's a uh, 12, 14, 16, uh, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, yes. Wow. So you're going to get out some music. He has yeah. a music collection here. Check this out. That's your music collection, right? Yeah. Of CDs and everything? Yeah. Uh, is it okay if I have it yes. on my video? Yes. As yeah. a matter of fact, there would be one. This is all Beatles. Is it? And, He's a huge uh, Beatles fan. And uh, it's, it's here, here's Aerosmith, and here's Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa? So, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Take your pick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And there's even, guess what? Uh, you, look, check this is out. This is something I wanted my whole life someday. Ever since like I was 11 to 13, 
Look at these bands. There's ACDC. He has yeah. uh, what? <laughs> Boston. I saw Boston over America. here. Yeah. America. Oh my gosh. All the old standards. Even the Doobie Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Bob Dylan. Yeah. Bob Dylan's over here. And then we have Billy Idol. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do that again. Let me see. Oh, man. <laughs> right. Yes. And look, check this out. It is Tracy Lynn. That's my Playfully Purple. And he even has one of my contact cards. I have to make new ones. Back then, I wasn't sure that I was going to be slanting my name on an angle. And I used to go by VCAT because I learned that that's what I wanted, was a children's rock and roll ministry. But look, check this out. My CD is mixed in with others that I used to listen to throughout my childhood and into my teen years and sporadically throughout my life. I would hear them on the radio, and I saw them on TV a lot. Notice that there are certain ones that are not in this collection. <laughs> but mine is, isn't it? <laughs> not everybody likes everybody everybody thinks in the music world. Right? There's some bands you don't like. Say it! Say it! There's bands, some of them, none of us like. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> we like them for what they are. But can I ask you one thing? What, Really quick, what is your favorite band in the whole wide world? Uh, don't what, is it the Beatles or I'm, too many? Uh, uh, there's too many, but I, I would okay. say the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wait, what is this, this going is, on here? Is this the Beatles? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, and that used to be on the wall. <laughs> Check this out. Look what I used to look at when I would come over to Michael's. He used to have this on his wall. I can't get the whole picture. You see that? Look at all the lonely hearts. Is that what it says? St. Pepper's Lonely Hearts? Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Gone Bad. Oh my god. Do you know that, uh, look at all these lonely people, Eleanor Rigby? That was my favorite. Is it the Beatles who sang it? Uh-huh. Life is a journey. You should see this. I just want to show you. The, I'm not going to say anything right now because I'm visiting. He's getting ready to play out of all this music. The CD I gave him a while back. <laughs> and look what it was on top of. When Michael removed my CD huh, from the stack, I seen Leon Russell in the word life journey. I don't know who Leon Russell is. I can't say that. Um, I don't know what he was popular for, but here's some songs. I don't know if that's a photo, recent photograph of him or not, but check this out. I used to work he, at a place he, in He does his own, his version of Jumpin' Jack Flash. Oh, he does? Yes, not on this album. Yeah. But uh, that's what made him famous. And that was by my business card and my CD. That is merely probably a promo to some. And it has my website, TracyLynn.com, and you can go there and you can look at some pictures of me, too. <laughs> You're from 2012-ish. Do it. Check this out. Michael, that is so great. Michael's getting ready to put my CD under the blue light and hit play on the remote. Oh, oh that's great. Yeah, it takes me back a couple years. My own music takes me back psychologically a couple years when I was in the studio. I originally wanted to record my songs with others, 
to enjoy life together, only I could not connect with others that were interested and I was approached by people who said, why don't you just do it yourself? So I did it myself. And now it's being listened to in home studios around the world, I hope. <laughs> Someday. Fast. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god. Thank you very much for inviting me here. I want to show everybody something too. The car. Can I show them the car? Yes, Is that okay? Certainly can. Okay. Come with me and check this out. 2011. I'll explain this a little bit more later. Um, I brought a car over to Michael's home because I thought, well, I was going to be homeless again. And why is that? Because I didn't know how to take care of myself and nobody believed me and said I was responsible for myself or I was being irresponsible as cops were putting money in my hand and saying I was guilty. How's it my fault? It wasn't my fault and I needed help, seriously. I did not want to end up homeless on the streets like a lot of people around America did. We got, we got some compassion in the United States government, huh? We got passion, we got mercy, we have forgiveness, we have lack of judgment, huh? We understand that when we become in tune with God's good word, that we now become the hands of life to many. And therefore, as we do for them, the good Lord will bless us abundantly in measures most people would say are not the same. <laughs> he come in many different areas. Fuck. And today I was talking to him and he told me he still opens the doors and he still opens the the hood and the trunk. It's the car that I gave him in 2011 when I became homeless. And guess what? I felt really bad after him telling me that because I was wondering if he still had it. And he said, it's not worth as much because it does not, I did not uh, offer the box that it came in. So in other words, if it was untouched by my hand, by anybody's hand, worth more. And guess what? In time you will find out that this car could go to auction. Make somebody a millionaire. By the time an auctioneer smacks the cap, it says what? Oh, to the one who believed. <laughs> that just happened right now. Guess who's gonna be a millionaire? of it to the government because it belongs to God and they can't have it. <laughs> God has given you much in many other areas though, like your life. Because what? If you disobey God and don't understand that I am a child of God, your life will no longer be necessary in this time. Did you just threaten the government? Oh no, don't twist it around. Oh, it feels good to be loved by the mighty and powerful. And he said, I, I, I kind of was like a little nervous about asking for it because he opens the doors and stuff like that. Keeps it clean. And guess what? I gotta hurry up so I can get him. Invited me up, and then he showed me it. And then I asked him, you know, how he would feel about giving it, huh? about selling it, about selling it. How would you feel about selling it? And Michael said, "To you, I'm not selling it." Now here's what I'm worried about: the government doesn't like when somebody who they are helping receives a gift from someone else. Do I have to report this in? Hold on a minute. 
tell the governor, tell the mayor, tell the local township what was just given to me was purchased while I worked at Walmart. York. Come And now I hope so. That so long as it is untouched, huh? no marks, leave it as it is. Take very good care of it. Joyce Meyer says double for your trouble, Tracy Lynn. You learned. You learned. It's mine for free. I wish there was a car just like this that I could literally get naked and climb into. <laughs> Fluff my hair up blonde with a real diamond nose. Because <laughs> I want to make a real music video for once. <laughs> with me in it. I want to watch it every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> I did it. Okay, I'll talk to you a little bit more about it later. All right, Michael. Sorry about that. I wanted to thank you again for giving me the car back. I will oh, yeah. be very good care There's of only one, or, or there's only two people that that can I have that car? Well, you and me. Are you serious? <laughs> that is so awesome. I was all I was doing for the last five years plus is holding it for you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's really great. Okay, I'm gonna let everyone go now. Thanks a lot for visiting and checking out the video. I will edit this later on. Another exciting meeting with Michael. And take one last look at the view. There it is. This is the place I would come to dream about living in Las Vegas. And then check this out. Look. Now all that is the care source over there. Yeah, that's care source. I think it should be Tracy Lynn's penthouse suite. <laughs> Facing with the most beautiful view of the river, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> with the fitness center and everything. Parking. Don't forget, we'd like some guests every once in a while. And we don't want to get them sighted by the local policemen. Check this out. Now, where did this Elvis Presley coaster come from? Uh, the music store that used to be in the Dave Mall is gone now. But yeah. uh, they were clearing out all their Elvis stuff. They were. And I got that glass that, that's in the cabinet and, uh, and uh, that thing there. See the square? See how it fits in the square? Hmm? Do you see that? It's like a picture frame, isn't it? Yeah, imagine that in a picture frame. The place where I used to dream. The place I used to dream. The place at the place I used to dream. Put it in a song. The place I used to dream. You should stop by and see the home he moves. <laughs> I wonder what the hell he moved into after his career. That's the one I wanted to see. And we got Vinny out. It's a gorgeous view, isn't it? This will probably be my last visit with Michael. And um, this is a window that I would come up and sit and look out with him and we'd talk. And if there was ever a time that I seem that I was ungrateful back then, I just want to say I'm sorry. Because I wasn't. Because I'm not today. I'm going to miss Michael. I want to miss this view and having somebody to talk to in my time of being lonely. Needing a friend. Back in 2011, I need not now.
to you. I hope God takes very good care of you. He accepts you in heaven. Always. And sends an angel to you to keep you company. Okay. Okay. Lots of people love you. I love you too. Thank you for every memory. Very good care of you. <laughs> okay? Okay. I promise. Hold me accountable for that, okay? Okay, so JC Lynn can't end up homeless again or I would lose it. I mean, I want that to happen. But you can go ahead and wave again. Wave one more time. Wave. I don't know, was it this couch that I used to sit on? Or did you have another one? I had one, but uh, I had one that matched that one, but I threw it out. <clears throat> that I you threw it out. Since uh, I live here and nobody else does, that's all the couch I need. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> okay. I like it. It's nice. It's very comfortable. Bye. I just wanted to show a video of the bedroom. That's the place I used to dream as I went to sleep and looked at the view. Which is pretty much the same. See that? I am getting ready to leave the building. Hold on. Gotta see. I want to get my right hand. Here we go. Come on, Cadillac. You're coming home with me a second time. Ta-da. I gotta take very good care of it. And I don't know what to use to clean it. That is gentle, just like just wet cloth. Gen just, uh, uh, no, yeah. Or, or just a regular cloth, like yeah. dusting cloth? Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Thank you, Michael, for everything. I really will love and appreciate the car all of my days. I hope. And... Can I get out? I love you. you okay, and don't forget, I have a phone. You can okay. call me or text me anytime. That is still my phone number. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. I want to get the number closed. There's no number on it. Oh, there it is. Goodbye, Michael. Take care. 1106. Let's take a long cruise in a ragged up Cadillac. Now, 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 why didn't the bee man, why didn't they call me and discuss about the possibility? to play at least one scene in that movie. It's kind of like where Grease and Back to the Future kind of with Wayne Wayne Wayne's world. Wayne's, I seen a sign today when I was going to the psychological doctor. <laughs> and there's a street sign by the building that said what? One of the happiest kids in the whole wide world today. It's Christmas on this day. For me. Uh, in a worldly sense. Something very 
nächste Mal schauen. Here we go. I remember when I seen. I probably have video of this. That's where I am. One four eleven. I used to say when well, it's when two comes together. And there's a picture of a two with me. And um, there's blue. I said the blues are chasing me down. Okay. Let's take a photograph. I got the view. That's just it, kid. Look at the view. Let's say goodbye to it. Uh oh, that might be my ride. I gotta push the button. Okay, now we're going onward to the elevator from the 11th floor, I think to the first. And then I'm off. Michael is going to be going, I think, to the first floor. I see, I see. So, I used to come through, that's the main entrance, over there, and I used to come through, and there was a door there originally, and a desk, and then you could tell the security who you were and who you were here to visit. And after that, then every once in a while, you, uh, the residents, I guess, could just walk straight through. They didn't have to walk into that office. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. This is actually the elevator beginning on first floor. This is where you enter onto the elevator. <laughs> okay. Oh, and they have that blocked off now. That used to be a hallway straight out. And I'm on my way out the door. Let's see. I guess the, this must be for what, Tracy Lynn. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Is this the entire, is that like the entirety of the music ministry department moving in here? <laughs> Taking over the position. We will be looking for some what, nurses? <laughs> nurses aides? Assistants, personal assistants? Yeah. Personal assistants. Or a kitty cat. Yeah. Could, could they handle a kitty cat walking around? <laughs> During their business hours. What would they say, Tracy Lynn, get up to your room? <laughs> Why? Because people are from out of town here. <laughs> and they don't like the way some of us live. <laughs> That's it. We're on our way out. I'm going to turn it around. 
thought this used to be a room that there was once a pool table. Imagine in the years to come they could have ones with like miniature arcades and stuff for the residents. Oh, a place to hang out. Think about where the residents are today, like a majority of them. And maybe during the better times in their life of being in their teens or preteen years like they used to go to arcade rooms. That is making me a little nervous. I didn't want anyone thinking I was taking up. Historical building. Okay. See? Days of door men. Remember that? That's really nice, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's a really gorgeous place, isn't it? I didn't want to catch you on video. <laughs> Take care. All right. I will. And up it goes. With a miniature helicopter landing enough to pick up one person, maybe a pilot to come here and pick one person up. <laughs> That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So, how long do you think that'll be taken over by big business? And how do you feel about it?